Hello friends, welcome to the course of Code Data for RESTful API development using Silt authentication. Inside this video, we'll see all about API route setup. If I back to editor, inside last video, we had created two controllers that is auth controller and project controller. Now this time, we'll set up our API routes. So to set up API routes, we need to open routes.php. So to open that, let's go inside app folder, config folder, and from this config folder, we'll open routes.php. So this is all about our routes configuration file. So when we had installed all about Silt authentication package, this piece of code was added. But apart from that, we need our own API routes. So let's press enter and here I will add one more comment here that will be for API routes. So first thing first, we need to create our API group. It means whenever we call any of the API methods called register, login, profile. So whenever we call any method, we want our API as a prefix into URL. So here, go inside API routes and here let's say routes. I will call group method API and here we'll have the callback function. Inside this callback function, we need to pass routes object and inside this function block, we need to define our API's methods. So here, inside this auth controller, we have register login profile so what i will do we'll create our first api route for our register method so let's say routes and that method will call using post request type so post method will be used and let's say register inside second value we need to pass controller name and then scope resolution operator and method name so here auth controller scope resolution operator and from this auth controller we have the method as register so successfully now we have our first route and that is for our register method one more thing whenever we define this block automatically application will find this auth controller at our controllers folder but as we know that this auth controller this auth controller and project controller is actually coming from API folder so we need to define a namespace while defining our routes. Otherwise, application will see these two controllers right here inside the root of this controllers folder. So at the root of this controllers folder, we don't have any auth controller and project controller. So in that case, we will get 404. Let's go here, go inside this syntax definition and here i will define an array let's say namespace and here i will go any of one of the controller call either auth controller and project controller let's copy the namespace and put it here now successfully we have a perfect syntax with the help of this api as a prefix and also with this auth controller as a namespace so here this is post request type already we had discussed about the use of this route and method let's define our another route so here it will be routes and the second method will be login also this method will be hit using post request type so post method the route will be let's say login and it will call the same controller called auth controller and we'll call login method. This route will hit using post request type. Now next, we need to define for other two methods called profile and logout. So these two methods will hit using get request type. So instead of using post method, this time we'll use get method. And here, let's say profile this method means this route is also use auth controller and from auth controller we will call our profile method and here it is and this route will call using get request type 
I will go here. Let's define one more route for auth controller and that will be for logout. So routes will use get method logout by the help of this route actually will destroy our login token. So auth controller and it will call logout. This method also will hit using get request type. So here we have the logout method. Now next we need to define our three routes more for this add project, list projects and delete project. So go here. Let's say routes will use post method and let's say add hyphen project. This route will call using means from project controller. So it will be project controller scope resolution operator and from this controller the method name will be called add project and this method will hit using post request type. So whenever we call any of the API method or API route using post request type it means we'll send some data to our server. So in this case while creating any project we need project data so to send some data we need to use post request type. Now next let's say routes and the next API method we have for the list projects will use get request type. So get method will be used and let's say list hyphen projects and this route will use the method from project controller and that will be list projects. and hit using get request type and finally we need one more route that will be for delete project so go here let's say routes using delete method because this method will hit using delete request type so route will be let's say delete hyphen project it will use project controller and from this controller we have the method as delete project and one more thing inside this api route we need to pass our let's say project id into url so what i will do here i will define a placeholder it means we'll pass a numeric value as project id into url this parameter also we need to receive inside this method so let's define a dollar one which is a placeholder to receive this value what will pass while calling this delete project api route and here let's say this will be hit using delete request type and finally go inside this method called delete project we need to receive project id here so project id so successfully now we have configured all about the api routes that we need for the second phase of api development that is for register user after registration we'll call login method and from this login method we'll generate a token value and that token value will be used inside each of the api call like profile api logout api add project api list hyphen projects and delete project so these two methods means these two routes are only open it means able to use without any token but while calling all these api routes from profile to delete project will be protected because before using these routes before using these methods we need a valid token value and that token will be generated from this login method so also inside the second phase of api development we'll have the concept of filter so we will discuss about the filter concept how to use inside these api methods in our coming videos so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day